All right, you guys. Go roll mm -hmm. Mark and Mark Will I'm Lowry. Well, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you guys for coming over. The the four pillars on which this program stands: attitude, approach intensity and toughness and then the two byproducts you get from that aggressors and competitors uh, it, it's more than baseball it's bigger than ball uh, it's 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 about life and how you live your life you know attitude is an expectation to win approach is your job due to your function intensity is your love for the challenge of competition and then toughness is your attitude approach and intensity all three of them in the midst of adversity and when we can build those four pillars and ingrain those in our players, you start to see two byproducts, aggressors, players, guys that can play the game, play life with the freedom of the fear of consequence. They understand that they've checked every box, they've dotted every I, crossed every T, and they deserve to win. Uh, you know, the biggest thing that I try to do is, is just be who I am. Let them see you love, let them see you laugh, let them see you cry, let them see you compete. Uh, you know, all of those things. That, and, I guess to, to sum that question up is never ever be afraid to be embarrassed in front of the guys that you're leading. And uh, because if, if you're who you are, you have no reason to ever be ashamed or embarrassed of any outcome. And uh, I think on the flip side of that, when we wrap our identity into what we do, uh, if it's business or money or, you know, you know, ownership, uh, team, sports, you name it, career, uh, professional athlete. If we wrap our identity into what we do and things don't go our way, then that creates a void. And uh, if, you're not, if you're not a guy that is running on a mentally, physically, spiritually full tank and there's a void because your identity's been tied to something, that is temporary, it's of this world, it's gonna create this huge chasm, this huge hole that can only be filled by the things of this world. Looking back, some of the worst decisions I've ever made, you can tie to running on a spiritually empty tank. Guys that are that are being fed mentally, physically, spiritually, and they're, they're, they've got gas in those tanks, they generally make great decisions. And so, having been on both sides of it, I'm speaking from experience. I was having this conversation the other day, you know, you won a championship, it's an incredible feeling, it's an addictive feeling, but how long does it last? Literally for me, five, ten minutes, and then what's next, what's next, what's, that's so temporary. But the legacy in life that you leave for, and leave for your family, those are going to have eternal kingdom type impacts. One thing I found out through losing an incredible job through my actions is I can remember back to, to telling the kids, uh, you know, I've been fired. And, uh, they really didn't blink because your family loves you unconditionally. They don't love what you do. And that was a big lesson for me. Uh, that was a big lesson to learn. You know, our really and truly what I've what I've come to realize is you're not necessarily I know that uh, a lot of people and most people measure your success as a coach or a leader on wins losses and championships but really and truly what we're measuring uh, and the expectation that we have uh, as a program is is not necessarily measured on wins and losses. Yeah, we want to win at everything we do and that's our expectation and I think that's just life. You know, 15 was always my number when I lived transactionally and 28 was the only number they had left at the only job I could find at UL Lafayette. And uh, the book 15 to 28 is kind of that dash in between those two and uh, it's, it's really and truly my testimony. And, Something that I was compelled and, and really felt a calling to do after the press conference had the, the impact that it had. And uh, it was lost on me what that press conference had truly done. It wasn't until I saw the thousands of emails and texts and whatnot of, you know, you've helped to change me or 
uh, I'm now, you know, living a different life. And really and truly, it's kind of God's story through me and, and from the, the highest of highs to the lowest of lows and everything in between. And uh, to sum it all up, really and truly, it's a story that, that all things are possible and that God's grace is greater than our sins. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going to be measured on the, the, the quality of the man that we're turning out of this program. And uh, we're going to be measured on uh, the impact that these kids ultimately wind up making on their own families uh, through being a great husband, great dad, a uh, great friend, a uh, great employee, great leader, great business owner, great professional. I think truly that's going to be the biggest measuring stick, uh, not the wins or the losses. Obviously those are great, uh, but I think we're going to be measured on the, the men that we turn out of this program.